Hello and welcome back to Jenna Gets Creative. This is not the video you were supposed to see today. This is. Today, our Friday bonus video is the YouTube Artist Collective theme Verses. And originally, I had done this beautiful colored pencil illustration. On one side, it is a luscious green springtime leaf. And on the other side, it is a beautifully decaying orange and red fall leaf. But unfortunately, the brand new micro SD card I put in the old phone that I record on ate the footage. <laughs> so, we're going to try again. We are going to do a versus piece with the November Premium Sketchbox. Here we go with the unboxing. I am reading off of the included contents card. Three Copic markers retailing for $7.99 each US dollars. These are the original Copics, not the Sketch or the Chow, so they do not have a brush nib, unfortunately, but they are gorgeous colors. A Sketchbox Signature Brush Marker in 2.0. I believe it's in Neutral 8. You'll see it come up. This is $6.99 US, but of course it is exclusive to Sketchbox, and this one, as the name implies, does have a brush nib. We also have a 4x6 Copic sketchbook. This is a coil-bound sketch pad, and it is the 70-pound marker paper, but it's not coated like their marker pads, so it will bleed a little bit. You'll see at the end of my swatching here that it did bleed through slightly. We also got the Tombow Fudenosuke brush pen dual tip. Oh, by the way, the uh, Copic pad retails for $9.99 US. The Tombow pen retails for $5.49 US. And it is black ink on one side, gray ink on the other. And then to finish it off, we have a classic Sakura Jelly Roll Bold Point in White. This retails for $149. It is the 10, not the 8. This is the same white gel pen we got in the, I want to say, May scrawler box. The one that had the uh, woodland creatures. And uh, the video is already way past this, but the uh, featured artist on the print inside the box is Natasha Price. You can go back to that point and pause if you want to check out her information. So, since I am doing take two at a versus piece, I decided to take my uh, Colerase blue pencil, because we're working in shades of blue and gray, and uh, draw a circle so that I can do day and night, sun and moon in a kind of juvenile cartoony style. It's. Uh, I'll admit this piece was done really quickly because I was running out of time to get this week's content done. So it's not my best work, but it was quite fun. I did enjoy the challenge of using a non-brush tip Copic marker. As you can see, I am using mostly the chisel nib. When you don't have a brush marker, the chisel nib becomes way more useful. You can use it flat to cover large areas, or you can turn it on its side and use that tip almost like a brush. If you're new to the channel, I do put out at least two videos a week. On Tuesdays, I do art time-lapse videos, a lot like this one. Sometimes they are unboxings and a piece. Sometimes they're a challenge. Sometimes they're just whatever I was working on that week. No other affiliated theme or anything. On Thursdays, sometimes those videos are an art tutorial. Sometimes they're a product review of some sort of art-related product, and sometimes they're a craft video, which is always fun. And then, of course, some weeks I do have bonus content, and when I don't have a special reason to put it out on a different day, my bonus videos typically go out on Friday. Like today. Which I already said, didn't I? <laughs> 
That blue-violet shade I put down on the night side is absolutely gorgeous, and if I wasn't trying my best to use every marker in the box here, I would have just left it one shade on each side because, yeah, that's gorgeous. I was really happy when I uh, swatched these three Copic markers onto my uh, color chart to see that it is just the blue violet is just two away from another blue violet I have that I really like, which means I now have an ideal blending pair, even though one's not a brush. No, I'm not going to let that go. <laughs> so the blending here with the dark and the light blue, it's a little rough, and that's partly because I was rushing, it's partly because it's a chisel nib, but mostly it's because they're nowhere close to each other in numbers at all. They're not the same blending family, they're not close in tone, so they really should have had a mid-tone, but we weren't given a mid-tone, so excuse that. Uh, when I go over to the night side with the second color, I will be using the Sketchbox exclusive marker, and it does have a brush nib, which is so nice. <laughs> and you may notice I've got the contents card underneath the sheet. That is because, as you saw, one I was swatching, and as I mentioned, this is not coated paper, so it did bleed through a bit on the swatches, so I knew it would definitely bleed through with this heavy use, and I didn't want to keep spoiling further pages. So now my uh, contents card has a lovely patchwork of blue and gray. If you like this video, please do hit that like button and leave a comment down below. It really does help out channels when you interact. And hey, if you didn't like the video, you can also hit that dislike button. It's, uh, as Philip DeFranco says, doesn't do what you think it does. <laughs> I do like to read your comments. I do my best to respond to them as soon as I can. And I usually do after a video has been out for a while, go in and pin a comment. That could be yours. If you are participating in the YTAC challenge, or if you also got this sketch box, please do link me, tag me, whatever. I want to see what you've done with it as well. Feel free to leave that link down in the comments below. I don't mind you uh, overriding my content to uh, share that. I'd love to see it. So thanks, bye guys.